The government stake in Atiak Sugar Company through its investment agency Uganda Development Corporation has been 32%. However, as the company gets more funds from government to facilitate its setup, government stake is also projected to rise. In the financial year 2019-2020, government is to allocate an additional 24 billion shillings to a Tiak sugar factory. So we have to sit at the, on the table with the um, other Horeal investment members and we discuss, but an estimation is it will go about 44%. The sugar manufacturing company located in northern Uganda near Nimuli, South Sudan border is jointly owned by UDC and businesswoman Amina Hersi. The supplementary funding, which increases government's investment to 89 billion shillings, is expected to speed up the construction and help kickstart production by August this year. But I would call upon the outgrowers to be patient and government has come in also to give them seedlings because before they used to buy these kind of seedlings or they would get them from her. But now, government has also come in to support them through NADS. So we will try and address some of their challenges as work. We are giving the money only to contract, but the beneficiaries are the people from here. And the people who are saying that this is not true are people who maybe do not want development. You saw the numbers of the women who are there. And I know from 2014, there was nothing happening here. Part of the 24 billion shillings additional funding will be used to construct the office block and staff housing as per the bill of quantities verified by the Works and Transport Ministry. Meanwhile, the Minister of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives has launched their Atiak Sugar Plantation Outgrowers Cooperative Society at an event held in Atiak Trading Center. In forming a cooperative, in you don't expect people to give, give, give you money. No. <laughs> you must save. But, uh, that, and we would help you to introduce you to institutions, to financial institutions, which can support you with low interest rates. Dennis Igor, for UBC News, in Atiyak, Northern Uganda.